second round, you knocked him down twice. What was going through your mind? You know you can't count a guy like Luis Ortiz out. Man, the first thing I want to do, I want to thank God because without him, nothing's possible. Man, since the jump, I thought everybody thought they were doubting me that I was going to get my, my ass knocked out and whatnot. But to tell you the truth, I worked so hard for this fight because I know he's a warrior. He hits hard and... I thought I did a beautiful job boxing him around and I thought I showed some different class that I usually do instead of just pressuring or going forward. Well, definitely. I was going to actually ask you, was it difficult? How difficult was it to force the action given that he was the first southpaw you faced as a professional? It was pretty difficult, man, but the ability that I have of me counterpunching and waiting for him to load up and me counter him and connecting him to, and dropping him, it was a blessing, man. I just want to thank God so much. Congratulations to you. You've said throughout this campaign for this fight, you said you have to stay disciplined, stay focused, and stay active. What does staying active mean to you, given the landscape of this heavyweight division? Staying active, man. I do not want to be waiting so long until I fight. I want to fight at least three, four times a year. I'm ready, man. I'm hungry. I want to be champion again and bring that belt back to Mexico. We have a fight. Deontay Wilder returns to take on Robert Olenius in New York on October 15th. Should he become victorious on that night? Is that the fight you want next? You know what? God, the winner of that fight. God willing, he wins um, Robert in October. And you know, me and him are in the same organization. And let's do it. Let's get it on. Congratulations to you, Andy.